Now, the story that we're going to tell is going to be the same story that we told back in Volume 1. What did we do there? What we did was we said, look, dynamical systems, in general, they're nonlinear, they're too hard to solve, so what we're going to do is focus on the equilibria, look at those individual stationary solutions, and then classify them by means of linearizing the dynamical system using Taylor expansion. We're going to do exactly the same thing here in Volume 2, but now for two-dimensional dynamics. We're going to, first of all, build up our linear algebra skills so that we can classify and exactly solve linear systems. Then we're going to turn that to the nonlinear world by focusing on equilibria. We'll get a stability criterion. We'll get all that good stuff in place. Great. But back in Volume 1, we noticed that there was more going on besides equilibria. And that is going to be very true in Volume 2. What else did we see? We saw that there were bifurcations. When you have a parametrized system and you change those parameters, then equilibria can change. And those types of changes themselves, those bifurcations, can be classified. We're going to redo that entire theory here in 2D. What else did we see back in Volume 1? We saw that there were more than just equilibria out there. There were periodic orbits. Is that going to persist into two-dimensional dynamics? Oh, yes. And then some. And in fact, a few hints of things even more complex than equilibria and periodic orbits. Things that we saw hinted at in one day will come back again to us here in this volume. It's the same story as Volume 1, but it's a good story, a true story, and a story that we are going to be able to put to use in increasingly more realistic models. Things that range from population dynamics to oscillators to all kinds of interesting things.